Welcome to my trip tip vlog, coming to you in three parts. My voice went really high. Part the first, physics. My finals papers are now just two weeks away, and so pretty much all my time has been spent revising. This week, amongst other things, I've been looking at the path integral formulation of quantum field theory, some stratospheric chemistry, radiation management in the atmosphere, and it feels like all the physics ever. Because I've been working so long, frankly, it's getting quite hard to uh, not be bored in the library. But this has been made easier by the addition of some friends. So I was joined in St Peter's Library by some friends from the Physics Society. On the right hand side we actually have Fran, who's from Mansfield College and is going to be next year's Physics Society President. And a bunch of us from St Peter's have banded together to form a study group. And we are able to book out rooms in college as college members. And we've been booking out different rooms every evening to just get out of the library. It's really nice to know that you're not going through all this exam stress alone. Also in kind of physics news, I went to New College to have a formal hall over there. A friend of mine who's going to be doing a defer with me next year uh, goes there. And their hall's being refurbished at the moment, so they actually have their formal halls in a marquee on their quad. Um, which is kind of weird, but anyway, I had this, this and this. Part two, rowing. So on Saturday I managed to get out of the library for a couple of hours and uh, slip down to the river. Now rowing is kind of famously a really big sport in Oxford. There are three regattas over the course of the year and summer eights is the one that happens in Trinity Town, which is the one that I was at on Saturday. It runs on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and it's a huge deal. Last year I think 15,000 people lined the banks of the river. So each college often has its own boathouse or shares a boathouse and those are ram packed with supporters from the college. You'll get people who aren't rowers just coming down to support their teams x rows coming down and watching, even St Peter's master, Mark Damazer, came down. So the way the summer race works is a bump style of racing. This means that instead of having two crews side by side, like you would say in the boat race on the Thames, you have lots of crews, uh, it's ten per division, uh, all one after the other in a line. And the idea is that when the starting cannon is fired, everybody tries to crash into, basically, the boat in front of them. And doing that is called a bump. And when you bump someone, you leapfrog them in the standings in the division. So you go up one, they go down one. And when a bump happens, in summer eights, both the crew which um, has bumped, so has hit the boat in front of them, and the boat that they hit, then drops out of the racing line and allows the rest of the race to continue. St Peter's main men's boat is in the second division, and uh, we had a really strong crew this year. I try to keep up, um, somewhat successfully. People don't realise how fast rowing boats are. And you can probably see in this shot just how close everything was. There was probably two or three feet between each of the boats. Part three, trashings. So physics is a subject which starts its exams really late in the Oxford term. Uh, most people start at least two or three weeks before we do. The first subject to start overall was English, which means that English was the first subject to finish, which is what happened earlier this week. As I mentioned in one of my previous videos, you take your exams in the examination schools. And when you finished your last exam, you get to walk out via the finalist exit. The finalist exit leads on to Merton Street, which on days when people have had their final exams is absolutely lined with friends of people that have been sitting their exams. Uh, English is quite a big subject, so there were absolutely loads of people there. As you can see, the street was completely packed. Uh, and we, I was there with a bunch of other friends to celebrate with those uh, English students from St Peter's, who, as you might be able to tell, were rather happy. Following the celebration on Merton Street, however, we then come to an Oxford tradition called trashing. Trashing is the action of, to very extents, I suppose degrading the person, uh, your friend, who has just sat their final exam and so, in theory, is having the happiest day of their life. Here we can see a typical trashing. It starts with people being genuinely happy that their friend has finished their exams. And then... In this case there was milk, water, coffee, and I think chocolate sauce, and whipped cream. This is actually quite a light trashing. The most extreme one I've seen was a guy who was tied to a clothes rack and then thrown in the river. Face up, you know, he, he, he was fine. After the trashing, it's also kind of traditional to jump into the river running through Christchurch Meadow. Although in some cases, people don't like to hold up to the tradition. Unless encouraged. Thank you for your suggestions for the collaboration video with Jamie. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, please check out the previous vlog. Or if you don't know who Jamie is, check out his vlogs. And your question for this week is based on my study group. So there's a guy uh, who I work with called Dan, who you might remember from my Day in the Life video, whose mum, in one of the loveliest things I think I've ever heard, sends some motivational quotes every day to keep him going through his studying. And I was thinking that maybe you guys could leave the most motivational uh, quote or idea or thought you ever had uh, or come across in the comment section and then all of us who are going through exams at the moment can sort of feed off that motivation and we, we can get down to it together. Leave your motivational quotes in the comments below. Jamie, I will see you on Thursday. I will see you guys in a week's time.